Hey, 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 it's W5 Ventura. Well, I have an update here on the stuff in the shack uh, for my 10 meter setup. I decided, I found this uh, this pretty much new old stock or hardly ever used uh, Yaesu FL2100B linear. This thing has, it, it looks like it was, somebody took it out of the box just not too long ago. So I'm letting the uh, the fans run, the tubes are lit up, and uh, you know I took the covers off this morning. I looked everything over, checked everything out, make sure nothing was loose, put the covers back on it, and just plugged it up. And I'm gonna let it sit here and run the rest of the day and uh, the rest of the night. And I thought what I can do is I can just use this on 10 meters for now. I needed a backup amp. This has got a pair of 572Bs. But they run the things at like 2,400 volts. And the, the, the plate voltage meter is coming up to 2,500 non-loaded. So if I go to operate, you know, and then I transmit into it, it's going to probably drop back to 24. That's how these things run. But, you know, I, you see these things advertised. People are trying to get rid of them sometimes. And, uh, I mean, this one's like new almost out of the box. I don't know if you can see the back of this. See how the gold metal's still shiny? It's not. I mean, look at the transformer. I mean, this thing is immaculate, even, even the power cord. And it still has the plastic on the front. It's bubbled up a little bit here in this corner where the screw is, where they always do. It's coming up in a couple places here. But what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably going to peel it off. Because I'm sure what's behind there is immaculate. It preserved it all these years. And if I can wash the thing off and put something down on top of it to get the wrinkles out, I might try to put it back on. But I'm going to take it off and wash the front down with just some water. And just to get any kind of residue off of it and uh, see what it does. I can always put a coat of wax on the front and just do that instead of the plastic. But uh, anyway... So that's it for now, and I've got the, uh, I've got, they sent me the manual for it and everything, so I've even, the guy even had the, uh, the Herbach, uh, power supply upgrade kit for it, so he sent that, he bought it, and just never, never installed it. This thing, I mean, this is like a new old stock amp that was hardly ever used, because there's hardly, I looked down in there when I took the case off, and there, the tubes just have a tiny speck of dust on them. And the fan blades were all clear of dust completely. So, you know, it's, somebody probably used it, used it for maybe a week or two and then put it back in the box for, for whatever reason. It might have been a demo in a, at a ham store or something. Who knows? But uh, you just never see stuff like this brand new out of the box like this. So anyway, that's all I have for now. I just kind of want to give the update because what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pull that uh, that courier amp out of line and just run the 5 watts into the uh, the linear, which probably isn't going to give me the power that I want. I thought, well, I could leave that this, this courier amp in line and add some uh, grid resistors down the ground to decrease the power down to maybe like, you know, 15, 20 watts. I want to run this amp, when I've, I calculated it out, it wants to run about 150 effectively. 150 carrier and the rest modulation on your peak envelope power. So uh, if you calculate it, well, it's it's a, this is it's supposed to be a 600 watt amp is what it is. They say 1200 PEP. If you get on sideband, you drive it up to 100 watts all the way. It probably will do because it's running like a 2400 volts on the plates of the tubes, but that's really hot on those. So. You know, on AM, you know, if I get 150 watts carrier out, I'm probably going to have to have a driver amp. Uh, I may build, I was going to build that uh, 4 uh, 4D32 uh, amplifier for 10, but I decided to go this route instead. But I still have to, I still may have to build the, uh, build something anyway. I'll use that one tube for, a, the small tube for a driver tube. I can just build like a little driver amp for this thing or something. Or I might even uh, just run my, uh, I might just run the thing out of the antenna 2 jack out of the back of the uh, 590 SG and use it on 10 meter AM going into this thing. That'll work too. That's the other option. That's how I was going to hook it up anyway. I was going to hook it to where I could switch my Yagi between these this radio down here or whatever other radio I got hooked up plus 
my 590 SG. That's what I was going to do. So I could drive this my 590 into this thing or or modified, you know, uh, CB for 10 into this thing for 10 meter AM. One of the two, you know. So anyway, and who knows, I might drag home an FT-101B. I find it, if I find one in good shape, it's got the, the AM filter in it or something, you know. <laughs> I could always do that. So that's all for now. This is, I just kind of want to show you that I did get another toy here. Another amp. It's a Yaesu FL-2100B. Still like it um, out of the box condition. So that's it for now. This is W5HRO.